Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the chicken coop is almost done. I've only got a few more things to do, a little bit of trim to finish up, and I thought that we'd do that together. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and review the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. But let me go ahead and give you a quick tour of the chicken coop as it stands now. The chickens should be here sometime this week. But as you can see, the chicken coop is pretty much almost the same thing as the bunker. See that over there? Pretty much the same design, it's just a little bit smaller. And instead of going with blue trim, we're going with green because the roof is green. And this door right here, if you may ask, is a door that I just made myself, ladies and gentlemen. I did not feel like paying $400 for a regular door that you have to install that has a door jam and everything on it so this door right here ladies and gentlemen once i'm all done with it it's going to have a lot of insulation you see how there's no insulation in it right now but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put at least four inches of insulation in the area on this door that fills in the door gap right uh, so it's going to be very well insulated when it's all said and done um, take a look at the inside like i said the inside is not 100 percent finished i went ahead and coated the floor i was going to use linoleum for the floor but then my wife talked to me about this product here that i wasn't really sure if they made it for this but it is a all-natural or non-toxic not all natural but a non-toxic polyurethane that's made for animals and uh, they can actually eat off of this and it won't hurt them and it's a rubber coating so I went ahead and coated the entire floor with a really thick coat on it yesterday. I let it dry all day long and then I came back today and put another coat on it and then I went about one foot up the walls. Now the only thing left to do in here is put a little bit of trim up on each of these corners. I've got a shelf here. This is going to be a poop shelf. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a poop shelf. I'm going to go ahead and put a, a two by four up there so that the chickens can roost. And when they roost is usually when they like to poop and they can poop on this shelf right here and then I can clean it up easy. It really does help to keep a lot of the poop off the floor, making it easier to clean. I got that idea from a good friend of ours. I still have to put in an electrical box, which will probably go in this corner right here. Just a simple electrical box or electrical wire that will sustain a small heater and a light. That is it. But as you can see, I line the entire inside with this reflective bubble wrap that's going to keep it nice and warm in here and will also reflect the light. That way I don't have to use that much lighting in order to fill this area up with light. And uh, of course, there's a couple small windows that I did and everything's pretty much trimmed and complete in here except for the little bit of trim I've got left. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Before I do that, though, I want to say thank you very much to WellBots for sending me this unit so that I can review. All right, WellBots has been working with us for many years now, and I truly do appreciate them trusting that I'll always do an honest and unbiased review. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. We have what I believe is just an accessory box right here. We'll open that here in a minute. And ladies and gentlemen, if I am right, this here being the Delta 2 Max, if I am right, this is the one that you can charge directly off of the smart generator that EcoFlow offers, the one that I reviewed here not too long ago. I think this is it. Hopefully it is. That way we can try that out. And obviously it does come with a warranty card. Make sure that you warranty your items. I actually had a customer who received a solar generator. I forgot which company it was from. I think it might have been EcoFlow a while back. I think probably over a year ago now. And uh, their solar generator failed. And they were able, even though they received it as a gift because they won here on one of our giveaways, they were able to get it replaced because it was under warranty. So make sure you keep your warranty card and make sure that you keep the email from me that says AU1. Here's the information and all that kind of stuff. That way you can make sure that if you ever need it, you have it. And of course, it also comes with a user's manual. I haven't gone through this user's manual yet because I just opened this right now, ladies and gentlemen, but I definitely will be going through it and sharing the specs with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I have my cheat sheet here because obviously you saw me just unbox this now. But this machine is very simple. It's very similar to the Delta 2. It has pretty much the same functionality with the exception that you can add two external batteries to this model right here. This one is equipped with a battery, a LiPo battery, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. All right. 
so which is a good battery that has a 2048 watt hour lifepo battery by the way ladies and gentlemen that has a charge recharge cycle rating of 3000 plus which means that you can drain this battery every single day and recharge it every single day for 3000 plus days which comes out to just shy of 10 years ladies and gentlemen so they fixed that in my opinion is called fixing it because the other models that i've reviewed in the past didn't have that life po uh, battery it just had the lithium ion battery which has a lot lower cycle rating than the life po batteries do so great on ecoflow for correcting that in my op opinion making it better than what it was before it has an output capacity of 2400 watts continuous meaning that you can drain 2400 watts at a time from any one of these outlets however it doesn't mean that you can drain 2400 at the same time from all of them at the same time right it has 2400 watt output continuous from either one or all of these outlets combined it does have a max boost that will add a thousand watts to your output however ladies and gentlemen i don't like to mess with those things you know that i like to keep things simple i think that the better that you treat the battery meaning that the slower that you drain it and even the slower that you charge it that the better it is for the battery as far as longevity no i'm not an engineer or anything like that just to me it's kind of like common sense so to turn it on and off is the same as the Delta II, but in case you don't have a Delta II, all you need to do in order to turn on your AC function is just press the button that says AC on and off. Very simple. It has your 5521 ports here in the front, your 12 volt, in addition to your, let me see, how does this open? All right, there we go. Your garden variety cigarette lighter port, same thing. To turn it on and off, just press the button and it'll be a quick press and you'll see the light come on. Now this is your input. Now the input is pretty nice, ladies and gentlemen, because if you're fast charging it with the UPS function that this have, and what I mean by UPS function is, is that this comes with a cord. It doesn't come with a power block, all right? Which is the way that all solar generators nowadays should be, because that's competition, ladies and gentlemen. Anything that has a charging block means that it's going to charge this machine a lot slower, then with a UPS function and a cord, and I'll talk about UPS here in a second, and uh, this here is going to be able to charge it a lot faster. This machine will charge at 1800 watts coming out of your wall outlet. And I really like that they made it 1800 watts. Why? Because in my opinion, it's a lot safer to make it 1800 watts. Why is that? Because let's say for example, and if you hear any chainsaws in the background, that's because we live in Alaska and it's summertime, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens in Alaska during the summer. I call it building season instead of summertime. But if you keep it at 1800 watts, your garden variety outlet in any house is at a minimum 15 amps, which is 1800 watts. All right. So let's say that they made this 2400 watts charging, right? Which is more like 20 amps. Well, if someone doesn't know that this is a 20 amp, let's say, for example, it's not. It's 15 amp charging from your AC. If somebody doesn't know that and they hook up their charging wire to a 15 amp outlet, it can trip their breaker. All right. Or worst case scenario, it can actually cause a fire if you're drawing too much amperage from a wire that's not supposed to have that much amperage drawn from if there's a malfunction. So keeping it at 1800 watt charging maximum from a wall outlet, I think it's a great idea from a safety perspective. Now, this right here is going to charge your machine in about an hour, less than an hour and a half, I would say, at 1800 watts because this machine only has 2048 watt hours of storable energy unless you purchase the additional two batteries which is going to give you a little over 6,000 watt hours in that case it's going to take you probably about four hours or so to charge all of them put together now of course it also comes with your xt60 connection so that you can charge it from your car and it also comes with your 5521 to 5525 wire now ladies and gentlemen one thing that i'm going to have a beef about right now is that why didn't EcoFlow provide at least one XT60 to MC4 connectors for a solar panel? Uh, EcoFlow's solar panels are usually X XT60 to uh, MC4 connectors. So I think they should have at least provided one. That way, if you already have a solar panel that has MC4 connectors, that you can also be able to charge it with a solar panel. 
A lot of people ask me, do I have to use the EcoFlow solar panels? No, ladies and gentlemen, as long as you have an XT60 connection, all right, and you have a solar panel that will hook up to that connection, you can go ahead and use any solar panel you want. Now, the nice thing about this that I am going to say is that there are two connections. There are two XT60 connectors. Each of these is rated for up to 500 watts of input power from solar. So you can have up to 1,000 watts of solar input at one time, depending on whether you have enough solar panels that will generate that much wattage. Now, two more things, ladies and gentlemen, that come in this portion right here. It's just a little reset fuse. It's kind of like a little circuit breaker. Uh, that way the machine is protected even more. And then right here, if you see the small button right here, this is a little lever that you can push one way or the other that will allow you to either fast charge or slow charge the machine, right? I like to put it on slow charge, but if you want to fast charge it where you can charge it in about an hour and a half or so, you have that option. Now, for those of you that don't know what UPS is, UPS, in my opinion, is a very big deal. Why? It stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. And some companies call it Emergency Power Supply, which is pretty much the same thing. And what that means is that, let's say, for example, you have a refrigerator plugged into your EcoFlow here, right? And you have your EcoFlow plugged into the wall outlet. Now, the grid is on. There's power coming in from your outlet. So there's power going into this right here. And you also have your refrigerator running off of it. So as long as your refrigerator is plugged to this and this here is plugged to the grid, your refrigerator is going to be sucking electricity straight from the grid, bypassing the battery. So let's say, for example, that the grid goes down. If the grid goes down, this is automatically going to switch over to battery power and your refrigerator is not even going to skip, skip a beat. It's just going to keep on running, right? That's uninterrupted power supply. Now, this side right here has the two ports where you can put your two external batteries or extra batteries. They're both the same, right? And they are what I like to call dummy proof because you can only hook it up one way. Now, I wasn't important enough, ladies and gentlemen, to get an extra battery this time around. <laughs> just kidding, Wellbots, right? Just kidding. Uh, but uh, in all honesty, I didn't receive an extra battery. However, uh, this right here is going to be able to hook up to the smart generator that Wellbots sent me in the past. And we are going to go ahead and charge this using that smart generator as soon as I finish going over the other side with you all. This is the side that has your LCD screen and also has your USB ports and the on and off button. Obviously, to turn it on and off, all you have to do is long press. You can see that it's turning off right now. And to turn it on, same thing, a long press, and it'll turn back on. And you can see that this one came in at 30% charge. Uh, but here you've got your USB functions. Same thing with the USB. You want to turn it on? Just click the button and it turns right on. I hope you're getting a good picture being that the sun is shining right down on me. And of course, we've got two of our garden variety USB-A's and two of our fast charging USB-A's along with two, and I like this, two 100 watt USB-C charging ports, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is our EcoFlow smart generator. And I went ahead and grabbed the uh, wire that comes with it that connects it to the uh, solar generator to the Delta II Max. And uh, if you all remember, when you saw me review the smart generator, you'll remember that I topped off the gasoline. And this cap has a vent, which when you're not using it, you should have it on off, which is on off right now. So we're gonna turn that to on. All we have to do is turn our machine to on, this lever right here, and then it should, there you go. It's lit up right there. Let me show you more closely. So now, ladies and gentlemen, all we have to do is push this button. It's got an electric start function, which is pretty awesome. Obviously, it has a pull handle as well. You can actually pull it. And this is where you would hook up your LP if you were running it off of LP. But right now, we're running it off of gasoline. So all we have to do is push this button. I believe it's until it beeps. I haven't used this since I reviewed it last. There you go. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And it started right up. Now, it hasn't been that long since I reviewed this and started this, so I'm not surprised that it started right up, especially since it's not really cold outside. Now, let's go ahead and hook this up to our Delta II Max, and the way you hook it up is right here. You just hook it up to this, and then hook it up to the other machine, and we'll see at what rate it can charge you. So here's our other end. 
And let's see, I'm not sure if you can see this very well or not. Let me bring it over here. But let me go ahead and plug this in. And you can tell that the machine's not running very loud. And there you go, I just plugged it in. And look at this right here. It's bringing in 1300 watts right now. 1723 watts. So roughly about 1700 watts. The generator, for those of you that don't know, actually shows the output of wattage. I honestly don't know why they did this. You see this right here? Why they made it to where it was compatible with the smart generator. Because if we take this off, let me take it off. If we take this off, right? And you all remember seeing that it was running at about 1700 or so watts of input. Now this is rated to have 1800 watts of input AC, right? So it already comes with a fast charging power cord. So let's go ahead and start our generator again and plug this into our AC to see how many watts we get out of it. Pretty much what I'm saying is that these two wires, they, they do the same thing. So why go through the expense of this really thick, I think it's a pretty expensive wire, it's, a, it's eight gauge, when you can do the same thing with your regular AC uh, fast charging wire. So let's go ahead and turn it on again. It's running, so now we're going to turn on our AC. And the reason why it's only drawing 400 watts is because we have it on slow mode right here. Check this out. Now, after we switch that switch over to fast charge, now it's going to go all the way. It should go all the way up to 1800 watts. See what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? So why even bother having this wire to charge the uh, Delta II Max? Because it's not charging it any faster with this wire. This wire, in my opinion, is probably pretty expensive. And the fast charging cable that it comes with already, it does the job just as good as this does. I'm finishing up the trim on the chicken coop. And I've got a couple of cuts to make with my saw, but at the same time, we're going to run our compressor. That should be pushing it pretty close to the max that this runs as far as output, right? First thing I'm going to do is run my saw and show you how much voltage or watts, excuse me, how many watts it pulls just running my saw. And this is my saw right here. And then after that, we'll see how many watts it pulls me running my little donut compressor and then we'll see if this can keep up with both the compressor and the saw at the same time. I'm pretty curious to see if it'll be able to keep up. So now all we have to do is turn it on. And you can see there that it is at 100 and we're gonna go ahead and turn on our AC power. I've already got the saw plugged in. Let's see if I can show you. There's the saw plugged in and what we gotta do is quick press this button and our AC is on. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our compressor after we do our first saw cut. That way we can see how many watts the saw uses. Okay, so let's do it. So there you saw that it got up to, I believe it got up to like a little over 900 at its peak. Now I am going to turn on the compressor. And when I turn on this compressor, I am going to lower the volume probably by about 80 or 90% because this is pretty loud, but we'll see how much the compressor uses.
and here's the compressor going on. All right, so you saw that the compressor got all the way up to a thousand. I turned the compressor off because I'm gonna turn it back on here in about two or three seconds and then I'm gonna make my other cut of wood with the saw and see what happens when we're working both of them at the same time. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn the compressor on and then about 10 seconds after I turn the compressor on, you should see the voltage go, I mean the wattage, I keep saying voltage. You should see the wattage going up even higher because I'm gonna be using the saw. Now, I believe that you saw that surge all the way up to like 31 or 3200, which says that this machine is doing what it's supposed to do. So pretty impressed that it was able to handle both of those at the same time, especially since you get such a good surge, you know, during the beginning of that saw action. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what do I think about that EcoFlow Delta 2 Max? I think it's pretty awesome. But let's talk about that here in a little bit. I have a quick story for you all. So I'm out here working on the chicken coop, and it's almost done. I'm going to give you a tour, all right, of the chicken coop with the run, and I'm going to introduce you to Poppy, all right, my rooster, and everything. But let me tell you a quick story. So I'm out here finishing up some of the trim, and I get a phone call from my daughter, right? And my daughter and my wife took off to a little vacation for a few days, right? But uh, I get a phone call from my daughter, and she says, hey, Dad, where's Karma? And I'm like, she should be right around here. She says, no, she's all the way over, I think she was like five or six miles away from us, from where we live. She had taken off. So I called Dog. Dog came right over when I called her, and Karma was gone. So I had to stop doing what I was doing, and I had to uh, give a phone call to the person that found her, thank goodness, uh, because she took it right off. And the funny thing is, is that th it makes me feel bad that she took off, because she'd been out here all day long with me. All right, her and dog, and they've been right next to me, laying around where I'm at, you know, karma coming up to me, wanting to play every few minutes or so. And uh, all of a sudden, I get busy for a few minutes and uh, not look for them actively, and she's taken off. So now that means that whenever I come out here and I'm going to be actively engaged in doing something where I can't keep my attention on the dogs, I'm going to have to leave them in the house, and I hate doing that. But let me go ahead and give you a quick tour of the uh, chicken coop uh, because I would say it's about 95% done or right? I still have to go get some wood chips and you know the little finishing touches but it's about 95% done and I'm also going to go ahead and introduce you to Poppy our awesome rooster so again excuse the mess all right whenever you're building or at least me <laughs> I'm an amateur okay whenever I'm building something it seems like the area around it becomes a mess but that's what it looks like right there ladies and gentlemen you can see that we decided to go with a little bit of green and of course the finishing touches is not something that I'm very good at okay I actually have some solar panels up on the roof and uh, there's going to be a video on that here in the next uh, few days or a couple of weeks uh, but this is the chicken run so check out this chicken run. It's a five, it's five foot wide by 15 foot long. And I decided to go ahead and just put a tarp over it for the summer season or the building season. That way the chickens uh, will, will have some cover from the sun because the sun this time of the year, it does get pretty intense this time of the year, okay? So here's uh, Poppy, right? Here's Poppy eating some greens that I threw in there. And now I know why roosters have terrible eyesight because they don't like their carrots. I uh, shaped some carrots off and threw them in here for Poppy. And uh, here's the little, I'm not sure if you can see it because it's black as well. But that there is the little chicken door that's going to allow them to come out from inside the chicken coop. I still have to build a little ladder for them to get down. And uh, this right here is the dog cage i guess you can say that i brought poppy in here in right but i have to bring this back to its owners so take a look at this these are all microgreens i threw some microgreen seeds down in the dirt in here and it's growing and uh poppy picks at it there every once in a while there he is right there he ladies and gentlemen does not like me very much he's already attacked me a couple of times but i understand that he is a protector and look at that he's eating some of those greens he has a protector, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a pass because he even drew blood once. But uh, this is what it looks like inside the, the run. 
I think it's a pretty good amount of room for anywhere between 10 to 20 chickens. That's what I think I'm going to be having. And in the future, if I get more chickens, I can always extend this run out this way. All right. So I think it's a pretty good amount of room. As you can see, the tarp goes down a little farther on this side. And then it covers pretty much the entire side over here. And there's Poppy. He's following me around. All right? He thinks he's going to be able to get a peck at me. And then uh, here's the other side right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the next day, and I am here to tell you what I like about the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Now, take a look at this right here. This picture shows the difference between the Delta 2 and the Delta 2 Max. The Delta 2, you can also add one external battery, as you can see here, but with the Max, you can add two additional external batteries. Another big difference between the 2 and the 2 Max the 2 Max has a capacity of up to 6,000 watt hours of storable energy, where the Delta 2 only had 1 to maybe 3,000 watt hours of storable energies as well. The Delta 2 Max, ladies and gentlemen, I think is a great machine. And I can say that every single EcoFlow product that I have here and I have reviewed and have used for years is still working just fine. Right now, Wallbots is offering a bundle deal. All right, so if you want to take advantage of it and if you like this machine enough to where you will purchase it, Wallbots is offering a bundle deal for the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and two 160 watt solar panels for this price right here. So if you're interested, ladies and gentlemen, check out the link that I'm going to leave on the description of this video and also on a pinned comment and go check it out. Other than that, I want to say thank you very much to Wellbots for providing me this unit to review. I really like the EcoFlow brand because they are innovating and they're not staying stagnant with one machine that worked and instead innovating and making their machines better. So go check it out if you're in the market for that, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, again, thank you very much, Wellbots, and thank you all for joining in. I know I made this video about a thousand hours long, but I hope that you enjoyed the ride and that you enjoyed uh, me showing off the chicken coop. I'm very excited. I should have chickies here probably by the end of this week. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.